In your book, you talk about the digital economy and digital labor unions. Talk yeah. a little bit more about, can you talk a little bit more about that? So um, there's something called the labor share of national income that economists talk a lot about. This is what share of the value created in the economy gets paid out to workers rather than to people who own wealth. That's been dramatically declining uh, in recent years. It's fallen by about 10% just as we've seen rises in the share of income going to the very top. And no, nowhere is this stronger than in the digital sector. Facebook's labor share is about 5%. Google's labor share is about 15%. Um, and I think that that's not based on the fact that workers are no longer useful, but because they're no longer paying the people who work for them. The people who really create the value on Facebook and Google are ordinary users of those services, the people who are supplying the data that allow them to create artificial and intelligence and machine learning systems, which are supposed to be displacing us from work. But they're not really displacing us from work. They're just channeling the work that we're doing in a different way. But we're not being compensated for that. They're taking our data without paying us for it. So then how do you propose we fix that? We need to create new sorts of organizations that don't leave us individuals sort of powerless in the face of the huge monopoly power of these platforms. We need intermediate sizes of organizations, things like cooperatives, unions, royalties collecting organizations, etc., which can on our behalf bargain with these large platforms over the value that each of us is creating, that give us the power to have a seat at the bargaining table, but at the same time don't get so large that they become monopolies themselves. Can you give us a, a, a real life example of what that would look like? So there's about um, two or three dozen uh, data platforms that have started to try to create this sort of thing. I don't think any of them quite have the right model at present, and we're writing an article for the Harvard Business Review that's about what they should look like. But um, this idea of having some sort of a union where everyone would join and they would negotiate on behalf of users for the price that they have to pay to access their data. And these could call data strikes by sort of cutting off the access or the cookies or the ability of these uh, uh, platforms to follow our data if we uh, don't get a fair share of the value that, that we're creating on these platforms.